What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there today. Today, we are going to be doing a huge upgrade to my hauling truck. Most of you guys know we have the 2017 Ram 2500 long bed Cummins diesel. And we have, as you can see, the uh, regular basic plain Jane regular mirrors. Well, as you can see behind us, we have a enclosed car hauler that we use to haul my race truck, which is the Frostbite truck, my Ram 1500 that is boosted and has lots and lots of mods on it. And pulling this new trailer is really rough having them little mirrors. So we are going to be installing some awesome new tow mirrors today from Sanur Auto Parts. And they have all the bells and whistles that you could ever need in a mirror. So stay tuned, let's get into it. So the first thing before we get started, just wanted to kind of show the packing. This is the box they shipped them in. Nice box. Luckily wasn't damaged or anything like that. They give you a book that has tons and tons of different uh, products that they have for other vehicles as well. Um, and this also tells you what the connectors do uh, as far as wiring coding and all that stuff and what each feature is for um, so basically this book will have your wiring diagram for if you want to um, hook up all the features that these mirrors have inside the box they pack them in a box of styrofoam so pretty nice um, very well packaged to where they don't get damaged by the time they get to you so let's get this thing out Alright, so under the first lid, right here, we have the towing mirrors, and these are really nice mirrors, and they have way more features than our current factory uh, stock non-towing mirrors. So these things have puddle lights, they got the blinker uh, indicator in the lamps as well, they're heated, and they also... Uh, lay flat or flip up um, like the toe style they also include a little multifunctional uh, tool to help you install so this is one right here just kind of flip it up for you um, so this is you know the flat laying it flat down and then these things would actually rotate up and turn into the traditional towing style they also fold in as you can see here to be able to collapse the mirrors completely um, if you're going to do like a car wash or something like that they have these wrapped in some plastic here to also help not damage it and as far as the connectors go you have uh, looks like two connectors and an extra little wiring pigtail here um, now again these mirrors do way more than my factory so the current mirrors that we have on the truck now, again, these are the standard regular mirrors. All these are, as you can see, it has the heated function. Um, that's it. There's no blinker indicator. There's no puddle light. None of that. Um, we have the heated function, and that's it. And the new mirrors, like I said, these have the heated option. They also have a turn signal built into them here, as you can see. And there's also a puddle light feature right there, as you can see the two LEDs on the bottom. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get into wiring all of those accessories up, um, as honestly, all I really care about is having the actual mirror itself. Um, the heated function should work with the factory plug and play deal where you just plug in these connectors. Other than that, these are pretty simple to install um, so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and remove the passenger side first and there's only three nuts that hold these mirrors on 
and that's all there is to hold on the new ones and basically what we're gonna have to do is pop off this little panel here and you can see there's one nut right here it's a 10 millimeter and there's gonna be two more behind there and then we'll have a couple of electrical connectors to unplug put the new mirror on bolt it back on plug everything up and then we're pretty much good to go um, so yeah stay tuned we're gonna get some tools we're gonna get this popped off show you what you got to do all right so before we pry off that little plastic cover just kind of wanted to show you what was in that little box of supplied tools that Sanuar auto parts um, includes in the package which is pretty cool so you got four different prying tools um, to be able to get say door panels off pry underneath panels um, pull up those little push clips that is also so aggravating sometimes on different vehicles so that's pretty cool so we're gonna grab this guy right here and uh, give it a shot and see if it will pop off this cover right here and uh, help us out so stay tuned all right so we're just going to take this end of the tool and kind of go right here behind it work it in the back and then just kind of pry on it there we go popped it loose doesn't scratch anything doesn't hurt anything because it's plastic and now we can get our hand here and just pop this the rest of the way off so it does look like this wiring harness won't will not pull up enough to get to the connectors so it does look like we may have to remove the door panel um, or at least pull it back some to get to those connectors so we're going to do that next um, to remove these panels it's pretty simple behind the handle here you got a little secret door right here you're going to need to get a little tiny flathead screwdriver and pop this open and then there's going to be a screw behind it you got a screw here you got a screw here and then on the bottom you have a screw there a screw there a screw here and a screw there after you remove all those and that hardware uh, you should be able to lift up on the door panel you're gonna come straight up with it to come over the top of the lip and then just kind of pull it back now after you do that um, you can probably just kind of let it hang here or if you have a helper they can hold it for you um, where you don't have to unplug like absolutely everything like all the window buttons and all that you should be able to just kind of let it hang a little bit to get to the connectors for this mirror and unplug them and then bolt the new mirror on and plug it back up so let's get all the hardware out of this door panel and get started all right so for all my guys out there with rams working on real trucks <laughs> what you're going to need is a t20 torx this is a, a torx bit screwdriver or a star whatever you want to call it and that is what all these little screws is around the door panel to get out um, so you're basically going to unscrew these little things sometimes you got to get your fingernail back behind there to get it started once you get the screw out there's a little plastic clip um, back here and you'll just pop it out so let's get started all right so once you get the little screw out this is what you're left with now you have the little clip that you got to pop out you can get a little flathead or one of those prying tools they supply you and as you can see right here you can kind of lift it up and what you're going to do is actually pull this guy out like so bear with me doing this one-handed there you go and that is what it is so once you get those out as you can see the door panel will come loose so you got to get all those out all the way around and then you can get this door panel up so that's how those work so just lay them to the side don't lose them because you're going to be reusing them all right we got all the little screws out for the door panel as you can see i got them here in the floorboard now behind that little door i was talking about little secret door when you get it popped open you got a phillips head screw back there so you're gonna need a phillips head screwdriver to get that guy out all right once you get that screw out you're gonna pop off this cover that goes over the handle here as you can see we've already removed it that way we can lift up the door panel and simply all you got to do again i'm doing this with one hand and using the camera here so it's gonna be a little tougher but i'm just going to grab under the bottom of the door here and we're going to pick up on it and you see it comes up and then bring it over and that is pretty much it um, over here you have the door lock so you're going to need to lift it up high enough well actually we're just going to leave it there and let the door panel kind of hang down here there we go and now you can see this wiring harness coming down 
wraps around here and there we go so we got the plugs there's the connectors right there uh, so now we have access to it so now what we're going to do is unplug the necessary connectors for the stock factory mirror and undo these 10 millimeter nuts and then we're going to be taking off that trashy worthless mirror all right want to show you one more thing uh, so with one of the supplied tools that the newer auto parts sends you uh, this is another place where this comes in handy and again it's nice that they include this into the kit um, but right here at the wiring harness you see we have one of those little plastic push clips that are usually so aggravating well if you get the little fork of the tool underneath there slide it in and then just pry it there you go makes easy work of pulling out that little clip you can see how they work they just kind of push in there and lock and then up here we have another one so we're going to get behind there with it and uh do the same thing bam pops it right out so now we're good to go and uh like i said we're going to unplug these connectors and then we're going to get a 10 millimeter and keep on trucking all right so it looks like for the factory mirror we have one connector and on that connector let me try to zoom in here right there the lower one which is the black connector you got a little bitty button here you just kind of kind of push in to build a release and pull that plug out so we're going to try to do that real quick usually if you get your nail there and push it bam unplugs pretty simple and that right there see if i can zoom in you can see my nail work that little button right there and that is what releases the button to be able to let this plug uh, come out of the module so we have our wiring harness completely loose so again we're just going to get our 10 millimeter socket unbolt the mirror and this harness will slide through this little hole where the styrofoam is and go out with the mirror from the out uh, to the outside of the vehicle so let's go get some more tools and keep trucking all right so for my weapons of choice we're just going to use uh, we're going to pick this quarter inch ratchet and then we're going to find a 10 millimeter i believe i got a deep well here there we go 10 millimeter socket and that's what i'm going to use um, to replace uh, to remove the nuts and install a new mirror um, so just basic socket set should get you by uh, worst case scenario um, you can probably just use a wrench and uh, go figure what's missing the 10 millimeter as always <laughs> but uh, that is pretty much it nothing crazy needed um, to do this so basically your 10 a torque screwdriver and a Phillips and then the tools they give you and you can knock this out so that's pretty much it so we're gonna get these uh nuts loosened up and uh get this mirror off so let's go all right so we broke all of them loose as you can see we're gonna get them removed and you can see the mirror kind of dropped there a little bit it should stay in place when I get these off All right, so that is the three 10 millimeter nuts removed. So now what we're gonna do, try to do this one-handed, um, is just kind of come out here on the outside of the door and grab this mirror and just kind of wiggle it a little bit, try to break it free. Looks like I'm not gonna be able to do it one-handed guys so bear with me I'm gonna put the camera down and uh, pull that mirror off and we'll come right back looks like they probably got a little bit of uh, 
3m or some adhesive or something from the the old gasket is probably sticking it so doing it one handed is a little bit rough so bear with me we'll be right back all right we got it and uh what it is is if i probably would have pulled on it a little bit harder i may have got it off with one hand but what it is is there's actually a little metal clip uh, made onto the old mirror that actually pops in right here in this slot and that's kind of holding it in um, minus the hardware so uh, kind of took both hands just basically pull it straight out give it a good little jerk and it'll pop off so that's it that's one mirror off the truck now let's go get our passenger new mirror and uh, we're going to feed the wiring harness through the little hole here and put our three nuts back on and continue trucking all right so just wanted to show something here before we get started um, again this is the passenger mirror you can kind of see the size difference there uh, the new the new mirrors are definitely much larger um, not only that they're a little longer so it's going to help us with towing once we flip them out um, now the factory mirror as you know you see me unplug it we had one connector now again all these mirrors did was they had the uh, motorized adjustment to be able to move the mirror around and then they had the heated option that's it no lights no blinkers no puddle lights uh, the new one has everything has all those options now the new mirror has two connectors okay and then they have an extra little tag along blue wire that i'm not sure what that is yet um, we're gonna try to look into that here in a minute but um, as you can see on the new mirror the black connector matches our factory connector from the old mirror perfectly and then we have an extra connector uh, this white one um, that looks like and we may just get lucky here um, so the black connector from the old mirror plugged in right here and then we have an extra opening on this module right below it that looks like that white connector will plug into um, if that's the case that may just be awesome and we may get lucky and have most of all the extra options those new mirrors are capable of doing um i'm not sure what that blue wire is that may have something to do with the puddle light possibly not sure so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to just kind of loosely hang the new mirror we're going to plug them in and see what happens and see what we got um but we may have we may get everything just by plug and play um obviously some of these trucks uh the 2500s and stuff they have the option to have tow mirrors so maybe that other connector will hook us up literally so stay tuned let's see what we got all right we have our three 10 millimeter nuts uh reinstalled and we got the new mirror um obviously on we got the new harness ran through the little door hole here and just want to kind of point out uh the, the little gasket material they give you on the new mirrors uh works really well you can tell it's sealed up pretty good right there and the overall fit i still have the plastic on here for right now but the overall fit is real nice seals up on the door really well um and these things i mean they fit for aftermarket these things are really really nice they fit and they seal up real nice and tight uh you would really never know these were aftermarket mirrors so just wanted to show that uh definitely pretty neat so we are going to uh, get our harness plugged up and then uh, we're going to test them out and see what we have um, before we put the door panel on and uh, check them out. So stay tuned. All right, so we have our harness plugged in. The uh, black connector went right there as it did um, with the old mirror. And that new white connector um, that was extra for the new mirror um, that we did not have on the old mirror, it does plug in and fit on the module right here on the very bottom so moment of truth let's see what all functions we have um, without messing with this extra blue wire that again i haven't looked and seen what this is for yet but all i care about is if the mirror if the motors and everything adjust like it's supposed to the heated function works and that's all i care about um, i don't really care or need the puddle light but it may work now, who knows, we'll see. Um, and then we have the turn signal lights and everything also on the mirror. Looks like there's an LED here as well. Um, so, 
I think right now is a safe time. We're gonna go ahead and remove this. Take this little protective film off. And I think that's it, nothing under there. And uh, yeah, let's see. Well, I'm just dying to know. Let's flip these bad boys up. Oh yeah. Oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. We are towing now, baby. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go get in the driver's seat and see what we have here. All right, so I have the door just kind of barely sitting there because the obviously the panel is still off. I'm gonna put the key in real quick. Turn the accessories on. And oh, we don't need that. And we're gonna come over here. We're gonna hit the right side button. And then I'm gonna play with the uh, the motor and see if we got motor. Yep. So that's moving the mirror, as you can see. Yep, yep, yep. Awesome. All right. So the so the motor's working. All right, let's see if we have. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna turn on the headlights, and then go out here and see if we have any lights whatsoever looks like nothing no lights on the mirror let's go turn on a blinker and see if we get something that works again I'm just trying to see if any of that would work without messing with that blue wire so we're going to turn the lights off we're going to turn on the right blinker and see if anything is going down so this isn't lighting up or doing nothing the puddle lights not and this is not but we're going to look into that because if it's just one wire we may go ahead and try to figure that out but i want to point out that is the new mirror flipped up granted i don't have the door all the way shut yet but you can see the difference there versus factory mirror right there very puny very puny so that's what the tow mirror flipped up we can flip this down and then that is what we get now versus this and then another angle you may be interested in that verse this We got the kids in the way here. Definitely a much larger uh, mirror area. So, huge upgrade. So, let's keep trucking. All right, Mopar fam. We have the mirrors fully installed. This is what the truck looks like now. With both of them on. And, uh... So far, mirrors have been great. They've been holding up pretty good. Um, this video is actually a couple days kind of jumped ahead after we got them completely installed. And uh, so we've been driving on them and they haven't come loose, no rattling, no wind noise, nothing like that. They've been absolutely perfect. Um, but what I do want to go over with you guys real quick is, um, so right now all that I have as far as functions is what I had before. Uh, basically, I just have the the uh, the motors and the mirrors work but I don't have any lights no turn signals puddle lights none of that none of that will work and from what I have found out even though we have the extra plug plugged into the door modules um, I'm gonna have to either take it to the dealer or uh, you can get something called alpha OBD and basically you have to program the truck or reprogram the truck to tell it that it has tow mirrors now to turn those features on um, unfortunately that kind of does stink my expensive snap-on scanner won't even let me do it um, my HP tuners software for tuning won't let me do it it's got to be the dealer software or the alpha OBD um, from what I have been reading will actually work uh, from what it looks like so I haven't made my mind up I don't know if I'm gonna 
when I'm going to get the time to either run it to the dealer and have them, you know, progr program it so everything will work. Um, or if I just get the Alpha OBD software and do it myself, uh, we will see. Honestly, the lights, I don't even care about. All I needed was just the mirrors themselves. So we'll see. There may be another part to this video um, as far as getting all the other functions to work. So stay tuned. Um, if we do that, I will post it up and let you guys know exactly what has to be done. But that is what I'm finding out so far. Other than that, the mirrors are fantastic for the money. They fit well. No wind noise, no rattling, no shaking. Everything works like it's supposed to. Um, so yeah, thumbs up on these mirrors. They do a great job and uh, they are holding up pretty good so far without any issues. So that's gonna do it for the video on these mirrors. Next up, we're gonna be, uh, obviously, as you can see, we are working on frostbite. We have it jacked up. Uh, we have the transmission actually under the truck right now. As you can see, on the transmission jack um, so we're going back together with it so we can get ready for mo party so stay tuned uh, we got lots of stuff coming up a lot of racing about to go down we're gonna we're crunch timing it to uh, get ready for mo party here next month so as always guys stay safe out there don't forget give the video a thumbs up comment down below what you think of the new tow mirrors on the frostbite hauler and we'll see you guys on the next one Bye, God. What do you think?